good, you're here. Welcome to the Masterminding Success Podcast. They say if you want to be successful in business and in life, then surround yourself with successful people. So pull up a seat. The Mastermind is about to begin. Hey, glad you could join us for another episode of the Masterminding Success Podcast. We're your hosts, Keith Wheeler. And Nuria Corby. And what are we going to be talking about today, Nuria? Today, we're going to talk about expanding your brand. So again, another really interesting topic for hopefully the viewers and for us too, because we, we're always trying to expand our brands, aren't we? Yeah, I always trying to expand it and always trying to learn new ways to yeah. expand it. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure we'll learn something from each other. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, we, we hear about brand building all the time. And, you know, basically have whether it's your pen name is your brand or if you've got a, an actual company name, um, it's really important to to get people to associate that, you know, whether it's your logo, that name or whatever with your product. And yeah. that way, that's the best way I've found, uh, in addition to having good quality content yeah. to uh, to get those repeat customers. And yes. And whether you're a restaurant or an online business, repeat customers are are really, from what I found, the best way to get a consistent income Absolutely. from your business. Yeah. And then if we're talking about expanding, then it's also word of mouth. So if right. your existing customers are happy and they tell other people, then that's the best way to gain more customers, which then expands your brand as well. So I think... The more you can um, create, what's the word I'm looking for? The more you can create awareness of your brand, I think right. that will expand it as well because the more people know about your brand, the more people then can find out more about you and maybe use your services or your products. So it's all about spreading that awareness really. And that, I guess that's marketing <laughs> again. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that word that so many people are afraid of that, that word marketing. Marketing. Um, yeah. I mean, and, and a lot of it is, I mean, if, if you've got customers, whether it's one customer or a million customers that like what you have, it sometimes it just comes down to asking for them to, to let other people know, you know, yeah. if you've seen people on YouTube, many YouTube channels will say, you know, Hey, like, and share or whatever. So it's that mm -hmm. sharing that, mm -hmm. that YouTube video content creators are doing that we as business creators should be doing as well. You know, tell, you know, tell your friends and and sometimes they do it with loyalty programs. So, you know, and sometimes they do it with referrals, you know, you, you know, you get this if you refer somebody to us. And so there's so many different ways that you can kind of get that, that word of mouth and, and help expand your brand that way, get more, like you said, awareness yeah. to it. And, and I think, a big part of that is giving great customer service because even if somebody, let's say somebody's not happy with something, with a product they bought of you or with mm -hmm. a service they had, if you can then give them really great customer service and make it right for them within reason, obviously there are right. cases where you can't do that, but in right. most cases you can always make it right for people. And I find that sometimes the, the most unhappy customers if you can then make that right for them, they become your best customers. Absolutely. <laughs> because they then know that you will deal with them in a fair way and you will make it right for them if anything does happen. So right. I think, you know, a lot of it is about customer service as well as anything else, any marketing. I think your customer service is your best marketing. That's that's for me. I mean, think about it not just as a business owner, but as a consumer, where do you go, you know, to buy your things? You usually go to a company or a business where you know you're going to get good service or you're right. going to get good aftercare. You know, that's really where it stands. I can think of um, companies that I use particularly, even though they're slightly more expensive, but I use them because I know that if anything goes wrong, they will look after me. So I'm sure that's the same with you as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that feeling of, of because they treat me right, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, you know, that, that kind of feeling is something that, yeah. that really makes a big difference. And, and I agree with you that even if you take, you know, you take someone who was at one extreme, you know, uh, extremely negative, and mm -hmm. you can bring them to the positive, that's such a huge feeling, you know, 
it, mm. you know, it gets the endorphins going. They they feel better. They feel happier. They're going to remember that uh, mm. as opposed to someone who really loved you. And then you kind of disappointed them. Yeah. You know, that's, that's different, you know? Yeah. But, um, and, and when we talk about, you know, you talked about briefly about, um, you know, like kind of making things, but, you know, making amends or making things, you know, kind of, if they're not happy. And obviously, like you said, not always can you, can you give them what they want? You know, mm -hmm. if you have a clear no refund policy mm -hmm. and, you know, they want a refund, you know, nine times out of 10, you're going to say no. Yeah. And that's, and, and if you explain to them why, you know, you know, here's a screenshot of, you know, the, the checkout process where you had to check a box saying that, you know, there's, that you understand that there's no refunds. You know, mm -hmm. they, they really can't argue with that. But but sometimes it's like you said, it's the maybe going against your your own rules and and giving into them because of maybe the situation. And even if it's not giving them everything they want, you know, maybe just finding a compromise in between. Yes. You can still take something that's negative and make it a bit more positive. Yeah. I mean, I try as much as I can to do that. Right. But there are certain cases where it's very hard you know i had a case the other day with a refund i have a no refund policy but if someone has a really good reason why they would want a refund or or something's gone wrong whatever reason i tend to accommodate that and and be you know be understanding of that but there was one case and i've never had that before where they actually consumed the whole product. In this case, it was a course where they did the whole course. And then at the end, they turned around and said they they didn't find it very useful. Well, if you had just done one lesson and then said to me, I'm not finding this very helpful, right. that's different. I would have refunded it straight away. <laughs> but to consume the whole thing, and it's a big course, you know, and then yeah. turn around and say, I found that a little bit unfair and I couldn't, because then you start getting unfair to the other people that have right. bought the course, you know. So you have to think of all your customers as a whole and not um, favor some above the others. That's the other right. difficulty in this. Yeah. So I, it's it's a balancing yeah, act. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's, and it's, yeah, I mean, I, I've run into that too. That's, that's actually, you say that, that's one reason why I don't offer... Um, any kind of uh, discounts or, you know, holiday specials or anything like that for my course is because yeah. I don't think it's fair to the people who pay full price. That's um, very but, true. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I get exactly what you're saying. I mean, that'd be like, mm -hmm. you know, buying a gallon, <laughs> buying a gallon of milk, drinking the whole thing and then saying that you didn't then, like it. Like, well, yeah, it, then you should have drank it all. You um, drank it. <laughs> but yeah. But uh, another way to expand your brand, like, for example, um, if you do children's picture books, you know, mm -hmm. you can you can expand your visibility, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's what we, before we were talking about expanding, you know, the awareness by, you know, word of mouth, but there are other ways, you know? Mm -hmm. And so one thing that, that I suggest to, to my uh, students is to do like a coloring book or a workbook, some kind of complimentary book to mm -hmm. what they're already creating. Yeah. And so, you know, yes, picture books are quite competitive, but you know, it, depending on the niche that you're in that type of coloring book may be less competitive yes. and so people may find your coloring book and be through your coloring book find out because you obviously you're going to be advertising inside your the back of the book that you've got you know written content and then they find you that way yeah and so that's another way that you can expand your brand using that same yeah. pen name same brand name whatever you're using mm -hmm. and creating complimentary content that's still going to be helpful mm -hmm to your your ideal customer that mm. can just make you more visible in the overall marketplace absolutely i think i mean and that works in any business you know it's it's basically you're expanding your product range right so whatever products you're selling or services you're selling there's always something complimentary that you can offer as well like when i had the jewelry business I then offered bags as well and scarves and, you know, other things that are complimentary really right. to, or similar or target the same sort of the same audience. target. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So doing that can really increase your, your brand awareness and, and your, you know, it expand your brand. So, and if you're 
in a service related business, it's the same thing. I mean, I can't think of an example right now, but I'm sure, you know, if you're offering a service, you can then offer a complementary service or something else just to expand your offerings, your, you know, so that people have more choice in, in what they can, what they can buy from you. So right. that's, uh, that's a good way to expand your brand. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, there, there's so many different things that you can do. I mean, like if you, mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of restaurants that I've gone to where they have cookbooks. Well, that's just, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so it, you know, it, again, it's expanding your brand, expanding your visibility, your awareness, and just just think of your current customers or better yet, talk to your current customers mm-hmm. and find out what other things they're interested in that have to do with that particular, you know, whatever your particular business model is mm-hmm. and see what of those things you can create. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, so many times businesses will have T-shirts made, yeah. you know, and it, it's funny. I, we could do a whole episode on that. But, um, you know, that's that's basically people paying to advertise your company for you like you're getting paid to yeah. get advertising i mean that's brilliant yeah to, to have it's, that that's it is say, that's brilliant why, it is that's why a lot of um a lot of restaurants and and businesses that do have those kind of t-shirts give them away for whatever reason yeah. you know it could be you know if if you if you eat this meal in this amount of time you'll you'll get a free shirt or yeah you know i i've seen uh, other brick and mortar places offer you know if you buy this shirt and you wear it when you come in you get a discount exactly. you know those kind of things yeah. what what the business owner realizes is if you're wearing that in you're advertising yeah. you know most most people aren't going to be wearing one shirt and then change their shirt before they go into a, <laughs> into a place of business so absolutely um, yeah so i mean these are these are kind of silly extremes but but it just goes back to something i always preach about which is thinking outside the box but mm-hmm. but Again, figure out what your consumer or potential consumer is interested in and mm-hmm. figuring out what else you can do mm-hmm. that will target that audience. Because if if they see you that way, if they see you in any of these areas, yeah. they're, you know, you're again, you're expanding your brain. You're being more visible. Yeah. And and something you just said reminded me, something I see very often now is if you go to a restaurant and usually it says, take a selfie in front of our sign or with our food and post it on Instagram for a 10% discount on your next yeah. meal or, you know, so you are promoting their stuff on social media, basically. And I think this is the other thing. Social media is something that is, it's not new, but it's new for people like us who are maybe a bit older and who didn't grow up with social media and we're so stuck in the way we do business which doesn't include social media because it's something new for us right and um we're we're slow in in riding that trend really we're slow in 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 doing things that for maybe young entrepreneurs is their normal things to do but for us it's a little bit more of a learning curve and I think that's another way to expand your brand is to really stay up to date with with all the social media innovations and all the all the things that you can do to promote your brand in a digital way, which is yeah. you know what people aren't doing enough sometimes. Um, new brands are all over social media, but I find that older brands are taking a little bit of time to to cotton on really. <laughs> so yeah. that's yeah. another way to expand your brand by by social media marketing, basically. Yeah. I mean, a, a great example of that is, you know, what you were saying about, you know, you know, take, you know, take a picture or take a selfie while yeah. you're here or whatever. Um, similar to that, if you have any kind of physical product, you know, mm-hmm. like, like your jewelry store, you know, that mm-hmm. you had um, or books or whatever. And, and one thing that I've seen a lot of uh, businesses do is they do, um, you know, take a shot of, you know, the book in the wild or the, yeah. you know, whatever. So, you wearing that and then tag us in it. And like you said, you you get a discount or, you know, maybe if you don't want to give out 10% discounts all the time, then you could say, you know, and we'll pick a winner to, to get a a free, whatever, you know? So as long as there's people, majority of the time have fun taking selfies, taking pictures of other Mm -hmm. people, other things and being on social media. I mean, that's why it's called social media, right? You know, people are socializing and, and people and, uh, and human beings just enjoy that. 
So you're giving them an incentive mm -hmm. to do something they already enjoy. Exactly. You know, yes. all you're doing is basically, chances are they're going to be taking selfies. They're going to be taking pictures anyway. You're just guiding them to do it for you and for your business. Yeah. And in return, they're getting something or they're getting a chance for something or whatever, you know, yeah. and it could be something if you don't want to give away anything, it could be as simple as, you know, and you'll share those pictures on your social media or you'll share those pictures on your website, you know? And yeah. so there's so many different things you could do that don't cost you any money. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, it's free advertising and it's again, bringing more awareness and expanding your brand. Exactly. The more your name is out there, the better for your brand, as long as it's in a good way. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, so. and, and they do have that, that old saying that, you know, any, uh, any, promotion is good promotion, good promotion. Right? <laughs> i don't and, know and, if that's well, necessarily I, I guess it, true i guess it depends i guess it depends on on even the negativity how negative yeah. it is and what it's about um because you know if someone if someone gives a, a negative review of mm -hmm. of your business a, a lot of times that'll bring people in just to mm -hmm. see what they're talking to see about. what it's about yeah yeah, yeah. i mean i've yeah. i've actually seen on some of my books when i when I got my very first low review, like one or two star review, mm -hmm. my book sales actually started increasing. Yeah. Uh, and, and part of it is because nobody believes that something is five stars. They just don't <laughs> believe it anymore. And so if something yeah. only gets five, four, five stars or four stars, people are really, uh, they, they kind of question it, you know, yes. Yes. they're very doubtful. Yeah. And yet, as soon as they see that one or two star review, they're like, oh, this is real. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I've I've seen that. So so yeah, even even a little bit of negative publicity, depending on what it's what it is, can still help your brand. Absolutely. So yeah. so the, the big thing is, is and I hope this is the biggest takeaway is just that that one is to think outside the box. And two is just mm -hmm. to to remember expanding your brand really just comes down to getting more visibility mm -hmm. in the marketplace. And whether whether that's by word of mouth, whether that's by creating more products and more opportunities for people to find you, that's all right. of that is yeah. is basically a great way to expand your brand. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely agree. <laughs> well, this has been another great mastermind area. And once again, a huge thank you to all our listeners and viewers who came to tag along. If you enjoyed today's mastermind, please consider following or subscribing to the podcast and maybe even leaving us a review and let us know what you thought. It would mean the world to us. Until next week. I'm Keith Wheeler. And I'm Nuria Colby. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining the Mastermind today. Be sure to follow the podcast on your platform of choice and tell a friend who would enjoy it too. Your support is greatly appreciated. This has been the Masterminding Success Podcast.